Hello, Internet! Color Farty's back for the final episode of Puppet and Pep's Dog on a Stick. We've only got 20 levels left, so we might as well clear them all at once. We're starting at level 81, second to last world in the game. I wonder what that button does. Welcome to Ancient Rome. Looks like Puppet's been doing some time traveling again. Sounds pretty simple, we're just jumping through the Roman Colosseums. Those pillars are beautiful. Also, praise God. Ooh, extra pep life! Make sure you're not stupid with the trampoline jumping. Because this level it's pretty easy to jump on the wrong trampoline and end up falling off a cliff. So believe it or not, this world I'd say is my second least favorite world after the Bongo Jungle. It's still cool, but I feel like the music is just kind of okay. But that might just be my personal opinion. Careful on those moving parts. I think I think you said that wrong, Puppet. It should be careful around those killer pigs. Hey, what? That pig's a little too happy that I just jumped off a cliff accidentally. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, that one bone we can't even reach because that's just where the pig stuff uh, started. I really don't care about getting those bones. Bonus points all the way! Hey, there's a trampoline! <laughs> Aw, the bears are in the little togas. Oh, the bears are gonna be a pain around those buttons, aren't they? <laughs> oh no! Ah. Even when they're cosplaying as Julius Caesar, they still just want a hug. They've even got the little leafs in their hair. I'm not sure what that's exactly called. I can't quite remember. No, no, no! Bears and togas. What next? These bears are making it very annoying. There we go. There are so many bears, you can always count on them to jump in on the button at some time. You probably have to push that button. Oh boy, not more hedgehogs. I'm getting enough of hedgehogs in my Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play. Hedgehogs aren't as fast as I remember. They're still fast, but not as crazy. As long as I don't jump on the trampoline, I think I should be good. Oh, no, no, no! And that's why you need to look carefully when you move on trampolines. I should have done this. I don't know, Pup Pud, of all the times to travel to, Rome would not be one of my top choices. I'd like to go to, uh, like, Colonial America. That would be pretty cool. Meet the Founding Fathers. Uh-oh, I think I smell a gum. See what the Revolutionary War was really like. I just think Colonial America would be a really cool time to go to. Let me know in the comments what time period you would like to travel to. This level's gonna be nasty, and not just because there are skunks. 
Oh man. This is not my finest moment. <laughs> not exactly what I wanted, but all right. I suppose I could try to lure the skunks onto the platforms and then push the button to make them die. But I feel like that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> okay, I could have gotten hit by the skunk or the beach ball. They chose the beach ball. Alright, that level was deceptively a little tricky. Oh, I missed the bonus level. Look out for the rascally critters! I didn't realize there was a bonus level there. Okay. I'm actually gonna go back. As you can see, it says replay now. So the points I get on this level I, are not going to count again. Super Pep! Yes! Can't wait. I almost wonder if jumping through enemies was an intended skill in the game, or if it was actually a glitch. Goodbye, bears. Okay, I'm curious now. Was there a bonus level last level? Because I think I jumped everywhere. But maybe not? Oh, well. I guess that's one of those mysteries of history. Don't jump off the edge! Thanks for the heads up, Pup Putt. Okay, I forgot beach balls were pres uh, like present gimmicks all throughout the game. Oh, I didn't even eat the bone. Oh, well thank you for jumping off a cliff, little frog. Kaboin, kaboin. No! Those beach balls always know exactly where to go to hit me. I knew there was a reason I didn't like the beach ball enemies. It's because they're actually very intelligent. Get out of here, beach ball. You're not welcome. Man, I forgot how hard Rome was. I remember Rome being kind of a breather world. I am glad that, like, they take the time to, like, actually modify some of the sprites for each world. Oh, well, that was just mean. <laughs> darned if you do, darned if you don't. That's how people say it, right? Cool. 
Quest platform! And of course, why would the exit appear in an easy place to reach? Oh, goodbye, little bear. At two, Brute? Oh, we've got some variety today. And I don't, and not just in the ice cream. I still want to go without uh, the whole game without getting a game over. Later, losers! You'll have to be faster than that to catch Pep hyped up on hot chocolate. Alright, I will find the bonus level on this level. I like to think level 85 was just one of those things like, during, like, at the end of testing, it's like, by the way, did level 85 have a bonus barrel, or a bonus level? Because we couldn't find it. And then they're like, oh! Pig's making me nervous. Alright, I don't care about that bone all the way over there. Oh! Okay, I was well off the platform, but I mean, that's not that doesn't matter. that exit. I'm going to the bonus level, everybody! That bear is being really annoying. He's always jumping exactly where I want to go, which is almost more annoying than trying to jump where I am. Oh! Catch as many as you can, Pep. Well, well. We have teleporters in the bonus levels now. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Sweet! Yeah! Sweet! That's a cool one! Alright, time for the last world, and it's one of my favorites. Pep, be careful out there. Welcome to Critter Castle. We've been, gone back to medieval times just again, everybody. And it's got fitting last world music, I think. Unfortunately, there are hedgehogs everywhere, so... I really hope we don't have a game over in this world, but it very well could happen. Alright, come on! Oh, cool, thank goodness. The hedge if that hedgehog had kept following me, I would have been in trouble. I like how they used this world from Papa Travels for Time a little bit, but also made it its own. It's really cool. Wow, you're doing a swell job, Pep. Well, thank you, Papa. But of course, beach balls are back. I'm so glad beach balls don't activate the switches. That would have been too much. This is like a formidable last world, but also completely fair, and it has some of the coolest levels in the game. So I am a big fan of this world. This is kind of a last world done right. 
Eh -eh. Like, I think the last five levels in particular are some of the best. I wonder what that glowing thing does. Do 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 do. Oh, no enemies at all. Okay. So, only way to go that will not result in us falling off a cliff is that way. So this one's just like a puzzle where it's like, think about where you go before you actually go. Oh, I just realized we could have gotten a dog treat if we had jumped on that trampoline. But also it would have resulted in extra time being lost. Oh boy, pigs and platforms. My favorite combination. This game would kind of be interesting to speedrun. Just trying to find the most efficient path through the levels. Like, what? I thought I jumped through him. Guess not. No point in raging over a humongous entertainment game. It's not like it's bear storming! Woo! Yeah, I don't care about that bone. I'm really worried about level 95, because that is by far the hardest level in the game. And I very easily could lose, like, 10 lives on that level if I'm not careful. I should probably be a little more careful, because I've been losing a lot of lives, and I really don't want to lose this high score before I beat the game. It would be sad if I did. Oh boy, yep. Hardest level in the game, you know why? <laughs> yeah, be careful out there. One wide, narrow road path, five hedgehogs in the middle. The trick is to kind of lure the hedgehogs on here, and then like one at a time try to kill them. Results may vary. So because you have the opportunity to get rid of the hedgehogs, it's still fair. It's really, really hard, but it's still fair. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that to appear. <laughs> Stupid hedgehog! Go back to Green Hill Zone. Oh, yes! Only one hedgehog left. No, no, no! Whoa! That was a misclick on my part. Alright. As long as we ride like the wind, we should be fine. Oh, last bonus level in the game, Catch everybody. Those guys and score bonus points. All right, everybody, it's play time. This bonus level is absolutely insane. Let's see if I can get one present. Get back here.
Alright. Well, now that we're past the hardest level, I'm not super worried about a game over anymore. Goodbye. Wah, wah. That's fine. That's really hard to get all the presents on. <laughs> Welcome to Skunk Fortress! <laughs> this is gonna be a fun one. This one's also very hard. Super Pep, that'll be helpful. No, oh, that's bad. Bother. Alright. Oh, it's not good! Gotcha. That was the wrong trampoline. One, one, once again, another misclick. I was trying to jump down. Whatever. The skunks were being too much of a pain. This is a really cool level. Really, really cool. <laughs> yeah. Really cool, really hard. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum So lots of prizes if you want to take the time to get them all, which I do. Actually, I might not get the ones all up at the top. Well, maybe I will. Thank you, fast forward button, for making my life much easier. I'm coming, dog treat! Alright. Got to do a little more waiting, but that won't be too bad. Wish, wish, wish. All right, come on, my precious little target. There we go. So our bonus was bad, but we got all the prizes, so that's cool. Oh! I forgot about this level.
Hope you're good at jumping from platform to platform. I'm coming back. I did not click. I did not click! Okay, it literally just registered two clicks that I did not input. Well, this hole is nerve-wracking, but also pretty fun, so I approve. Boom, bum, bum, bum. Always make sure you know which direction the targets are going to move before jumping on them. Alright, so this is going to go up, up, right, no bonus, alright, last two levels. More pigs. Ah! That's not where I thought it was gonna go! Whoa! Bother! Not today, little piggies. Okay, let's see what these buttons do. Oh, well, the pig pushed that one, so that was nice of him. Thanks. Don't push it again, please. So I'm guessing one of those will make the exit appear, and the others just make prizes appear. Please refrain from doing that. That was rude of you. You were trying to make me die. Alright, button... Extra pep, that could be useful. Except the final level is actually pretty easy, so I'm not too worried about lives. There we go! Woo! I didn't get the dog treat, but that's okay. Time for the last level! This level is actually really easy if you don't care about getting any of the prizes. But I do kind of want to get the prizes, so... Oh! Interesting. All right, you know what? No prizes. Just exit. We get a lot of bonus points. Wait up, Pep! Now how's that for an ending? We don't really know what happens to the pogo stick. My opinion is Pep broke it going in there, and he's like, oh well, at least I got a bone. Yep, that's Puppet and Pep's dog on a stick. Thank you, Matt Mahon, for get designing the game. 
Huh, <sighs> that's a fun one. I'd say it's probably my second favorite junior arcade game. My favorite is probably the one I'll do next. Ooh, I can't wait for that one. It's gonna be so much fun. That's also the one I'm the most familiar with, so hopefully I won't stink too bad. Additional art by the Scott Brothers. Oh, sweet. Additional additional art. Ooh. Thank you all of you who worked on this game. It is remarkably fun. And of course, as you probably have guessed, that's not the end of the Let's Play. No sir, we still have to use, explore the custom level editor. And much like Balloonorama, there's a secret custom level editor that I believe is only accessible if you play on ScumVM. Unfortunately, you can't really save the levels you make like Balloonorama. Actually, maybe you can. I'll have to check that out. I'll, I'll, <laughs> maybe I'll do a little research beforehand, or maybe I'll just do it off the cuff. I also have made, unlike in Balloonorama, I made 10 custom levels that are, <laughs> well, pretty evil, I'll just say. So, it'll be fun having me playing those. You get to see them. But in the meantime, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play series, because I know I had a lot of fun with it. And at the very least, if you didn't, guess what? It's a pretty short one. It was only five videos, and then plus a bonus video. Maybe two bonus videos if I separate the custom level editor and the super custom level editor. We'll just have to wait and see. Hmm, this underwent quite a bit of testing. Hey, Steve Johnson, thanks for the help file. Pup Puck created by Shelly Day. Oh, really? I actually didn't know that. Also by Jason Ellefson. Special thanks to Brat Barrett for everything. Wow, he made everything in this game. That's impressive. Dog on a stick. <laughs> nice Roman numerals. Do you want to play again? As much as I would love to play again, that's where we're going to have to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the bonus episodes and my next Let's Play. Have a great day and God bless. Okay, well thanks for playing. See you later, alligator.